Okay, experts, welcome back. It's round three. It's a great game. Round three, a little different. You're going to answer two questions, but this time for $5 a piece. And while you're thinking, the other experts will bet on whether or not you know the answer. If they guess it right, they'll make just as much money as you do. We're going to start now with the player with the lowest score. This time again, a tie, but Matt, we're going to begin with you. I want you in the category of Saturday Night Live, the Phil Hartman years, to answer this question and see if your opponents think you've got it. What song had Sinead O'Connor just sung when she ripped a photo of Pope John Paul II to pieces? What song had Sinead O'Connor just sung when she ripped a photo of the Pope to pieces? Alonzo looks like he's just thinking about it himself. Like, no, so, uh, I, you know, you I'm know. fighting the real enemy. What can I tell you? <laughs> and Kelsey, no idea who Sinead O'Connor is. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Matt? Um, that was a cover of the Bob Marley song, War. And you are correct. You think you got it right, guys? Right and right. Everybody gets $5. Well done. You, you got the question right. You got nowhere, though, Matt. Okay, Kelsey, we come to you. This is your first question. What is the only film, this is the category of Harry Potter, in which Lord Voldemort does not appear as a character? What is the only film in which Lord Voldemort does not appear as a character? As opposed oh. to all the films in which Ray finds his nose does not appear. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Well, you've reviewed them all, so Alonzo, you should know the answer to this. Uh, what do we think, Kelsey? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the... Pri I mean, I'm going to put my right up, because I knew you'd get that one, Alonzo. Right, right, everybody gets $5. <laughs> and now we come to our Degrassi air, uh, expert. Uh, Degrassi, the Canadian television show, Alonzo, the American game show contestant. Uh, <laughs> Alonzo, here's your first question. What is the name of the trivia show the Degrassi quiz team plays on in season four? What is the name of the <laughs> trivia show the Degrassi quiz team plays on in season four? Hmm. A look at Kelsey gives you a look like, I don't think this guy knows this. I don't think he knows it. All right, so uh, before our, everybody in, you have your, uh, okay, so let's listen to Alonzo give us the correct answer. Oh God, it's something like whiz kids. Or you got the fuh part, it's whack your brain. Whack, whack your, your brain, brain, which you may want to do now after you Probably. see what Kelsey and Matt think you did. Right? And right, oh my God, yeah. you got away with one there, Alonzo, nice. <laughs> Uh, Matt, we're going to come back to you for your second question of round three. The category again, Saturday Night Live, the Phil Hartman years. According to Linda Richmond, Matt, why is Paul Baldwin, the original host of Coffee Talk, recuperating in Boca Raton? According to Linda Richmond, why is Paul Baldwin, the original host of Coffee Talk, recuperating in Boca Raton? Do you know what Coffee Talk is? Nope. Okay, that, it, that's the great thing about this game. You don't have to know what it is. You just have to know if he's right or wrong. And we're about to find out. Matt? He's got a little bit of spilkus in the Gnectogazoink. <laughs> you are exactly right. He developed spilkus in his Gnectogazoink. Kelsey, Alonzo, uh, wrong sorry. and wrong. That's the $5 <laughs> you were looking for, Matt. Very well done. They didn't think you got the Yiddish one. <laughs> All right, we come to you now, Kelsey. Okay. The category, Harry Potter. What are the three failing grades on OWL exams? The three failing grades. How you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think, Alonzo? You think she's going to get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's see what the answer is. Um, outstanding. Terrible and I, I don't know. Right, well, you get a failing grade from me, but you could still be totally uh, unhurt by this. Alonzo, what do you think? I believe right? in her, so what do I know? And <laughs> wrong! Matt right. is learning how to play the game. A big, uh, a big, big $10 swing in this round. Of course, the answer poor, dreadful, and troll. Darn. Poor, dreadful, and troll. You let me down, Hermione. <laughs> okay, Alonzo, it's up to you. Last chance to make some money in this round. Uh, the category is Degrassi. Here is your question. After Spinner fights with his girlfriend Darcy in the season five finale, Marco assists him through a ceremony that has what one word goal? Again, after Spinner fights with his girlfriend Darcy in the season five finale, 
Marco assists him through a ceremony that has what one word goal? Do you know it? <laughs> There's a big. <laughs> That would be great if you just said, yeah. And then what would you do? Then what would you do? <laughs> All right. Save me some trouble. Alonzo, tell us. Do you know it? Is it re-virginization? It is indeed. It <laughs> is indeed. And let's see. What do you think, Kelsey? That he'd get it right. Matt, oh, gives a little money. Well, doesn't give it back, but doesn't earn it. Well done, Alonzo. Well <laughs> done, contestants. Round four, our expert of experts round, coming up after this. I would click ahead. Click here to go to the next round.